Hey everyone, this is just a quick video. Somebody asked how to make a potentially unwanted application, a PUA signature, for emails that contain multiple sender header lines. Now, if you're wondering what this would look like in an email itself, we can take a look at this test email here, and you can see that it has two subject lines. So the person wanted to know what was the process for making an actual signature out of this. Now, since the headers here contain subject itself, here and here, followed by a colon, we want to make sure that we aren't looking for just subject colon but rather that we're looking for subject colon followed by a space. And to make that signature, all we need to do is take subject, echo minus n so that it doesn't append a new line to the end of it, put it in quotes to make sure that we capture the space, and then pipe that into sig tool hex dump. What we have here is this nice little nine hex pair string. And then what we can do, switching to another window, is in an LDB file, because we want to make a logical signature, put in our signature name, the feature engine numbers uh, 81 through 255, target four to make sure that we're targeting this only as emails. And then this expression here says that we're looking for cases where the first subsignature, the zeroth subsignature, is occurring more than one time. And then all we do is put in the hex string. And then at the end here, we have a little modifier that says to do it case insensitive. And then what we do is save this. And now, if we scan our test email, we get back that it is indeed hitting this signature. The one caveat here is that PUA is a special category of signatures within Clam AV that is turned off by default. The fact that we're able to detect this is simply because it is an unofficial signature that we created. It is not an actual PUA signature within the context of Clam AV, even though we've named it with PUA to start. So under normal circumstances, what I would do is I would not start this with PUA because I'm the one creating this signature, so therefore I would be the one to know that this is the signature that I'm alerting on. And so what I would do instead is I would put my initials or I would put in my organization in as the beginning of that signature, and then I would be looking for hits on my .multi subject. So that's the only difference there. And there you go. That was just a, a quick how to create a logical signature that detects multiple subject headers in an email. If you like this video, hit like. If you want to see more like this, hit subscribe. Hope you have a great day.